Hey folks, Uncle Marty here. Today, we're gonna make blueberry pancakes. I thought it would be good to share a recipe. Okay, and Sebastian's in here, he wants to help. Hey baby. Who's a good kitty? Who's a fuzzy baby? You. So when I walk around the kitchen, I have to skate. Okay, you're probably wondering what, what am I talking about? Well, I have to do this. Because if I lift my foot, I might step on his tail. Because he keeps walking around my legs. And he sometimes sits on my foot. Skating is here, best time of year. Who's a fuzzy baby, huh? Let's make some pancakes. It's August, what am I doing singing that? Okay, it's one cup of flour. And to help give it the pancakey pancakiness, you need baking powder. Two, two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, not baking soda, baking powder, all right? And I add a, just a little bit of sugar in the raw. I, they say, you know, a couple of tablespoons. I usually do a little less. I just kind of sprinkle a little in there. A little salt, preciously a little salt. Come on. This kosher salt has lasted me uh, about eight years, I think. See, I have my dry ingredients, but then I make mix my wet ingredients separately. Mm, no, not that, not that one. Milk. Separate. You might keep them separate for now. Dry and wet is separate. Not that. That's all sticky. Something with some honey or something. All right. Milk. Ounces, milli cups. Ah. Okay. There's a cup. Sebastian's helping. He's he's my help kitchen helper. Okay. <laughs> Cage free. Cage free. A happy chicken lays a happy egg. So we, we get a happy chicken egg, all right? That's a happy, I can tell. It's, it's bursting with delight. It's so, the egg is so delighted to be part of, of my breakfast. So it's a wet, wet ingredient is egg. See there, I, I did that there. I do that one, the one-handed trick. Years of practice to do that without getting any of the shell in there. Just a droplet of um, vegetable oil in the wet. Blunk. And I just do a blunk. Take a fork. And you do that. Make sure the egg's all scrambled. Take our dry ingredients and our wet ingredients and mix. All right. Okay. Now it's time to cook. There we go. We light it up. You hear the click click. Now some people leave it turn on their gas stove. I have a gas stove. Some people have electric. I have gas. Sometimes they turn on their heat and they leave it like, and you hear that. All right. That's the light that lights the front. You don't want to keep that. You don't want, you don't want that. This is my big secret to incredible pancakes. Coconut oil. I grease the pan with coconut oil gives the pancakes that little a little crispy coconut taste. It's it, believe me, it 
it'll blow your mind if you ever do, you do this at home. Okay, it's been really warm, so I just have to pour it in, pour some in. Sometimes it's it's hard, like some kind of lard or something. Got the batter. So they say, you know, leave some lumps in there. I try to. Okay. I guess it all gets, you know, glamuglified in here. All right, here we go. Okay. Sizzle, sizzle. They are going to be blueberry pancakes today. See those? So I'm going to rinse these. Blueberries, right? In the quick rinsing. Okay. Mm hmm. La da da da. Sometimes you, you just let the oil go around a bit so that it is easier to move. There we go, you see? You just kind of coax it until it's movable. That's the first thing. You don't want to just go ahead and flip it. There we go. Sizzle up. Okay. Ah, now we're talking. That's going to leave a lot of blueberryness on the pan. I don't care though. Flip it. Ba -ba -da -da -da. Flip it good. Pancakey goodness. There you go. And we, and we use real maple. Real maple syrup. None of the phony stuff. I usually I'll pour it in something and heat it in the microwave. Mm -hmm. Pancakes. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like much, but we make more, you know. And a little butter. A little that. Sir, and ta-da, blueberry pancakes. Well, hope you hope 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 you enjoyed this, Uncle Marty. As always, follow me on Twitter, Uncle Marty eighty eight, all lowercase, no spaces. Uncle Marty eighty eight. Or if you have any questions, comments, or topics you want me, Uncle Marty, to cover. Please uh, leave me a message here on Facebook or on my Twitter feed. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.